very, very, very long awaited video. I've had multiple people ask me what my controller settings are because I play 90% of the time on my controller. And I'm about one of the only people on YouTube that does that. So we're going to go through all my controls, what I use, and uh, how you can set it up as your own. Okay, so some of this stuff I'm just going to like go through very quickly. You can pause and bind it to your own stuff. That's all good. Uh, and then some of the more interesting stuff, I'll explain why it's like that and other reasons. Okay, first thing. Um, make sure this is on mouse joystick, and I'll explain why in a minute. And um, hover mode. Pitch and yaw access. So this is an interesting one. This is how to do like cobras and stuff. If you saw my other video, I'm sure you're familiar with this. But um, basically, I hold down these keys, and that puts me in a sim mode, and then I can use these inputs to control my pitch and yaw. Hover height. This is a very weird one. Um, this was one of those situations where I kind of just ran out of room. But basically, you hold this, which is also the hover button if you would touch the touchpad, and that increases and decreases your value. Make sure you have this on keep value for display access. Wing sweep. As you know, I'm a big Tomcat player. This is an important one. So my enable access is L1 up D-pad, and then I push those up and down for the wing sweep. This is some more common stuff. Like some of this is default too. You might already have some of this binded, like toggle gear, drag shoot, flaps. Those are all default options. Weaponry, this is where things get a little interesting. Jettison secondary weapon, that's a good one. All the guns I have on one trigger. Fire rocket, this comes default as L1, but I don't want to fire individual rockets, so I just bound this to fire rocket salvo. But you can find something else and have these two separate ones. But usually if I'm firing rockets, they're in salvos. Fire air to ground missile and fire air to air missile, those are both default. Drop additional fuel tank, that's my... Um, basically, so L1 and R1 are basically my shift key. I shift over my controller into the like secondary settings with those keys mainly. Weapon lock air to air. This is a good one. Um, you can just have um, your fire air to air missile, and this will actually turn on. But this is like if you want to turn off the seeker or something. Weapon lock air to ground. Same thing. It's L1. A lot of my weaponry stuff is L1. Lock guided bombs is down D pad R1. What else? Switch secondary weapons. This is a very important one for when you get to top tier. Or even if you just want to cycle through bombs and missiles and stuff individually, that's a good one. So switch secondary weapon. Okay, so this one is a good one. So fire countermeasures. So my throttle, if you look at a PS5 controller, which is what I play on, my throttle is the right stick up. And make sure you have um, hold for wep on. So then, you to, flaring with your afterburner on is pretty much useless. So I've trained myself a habit. So I'm going to swipe up on the D-pad with my right thumb. But I have to let go of the throttle stick so my afterburner has to turn off in order for me to flare so I'm doing that all in one motion periodic countermeasures same thing but it's just uh, L1 and R1 puzzle it, toggle laser designator is uh, down d-pad a lot of my air to ground stuff is down d-pad now this is all the radar stuff. So the radar stuff I've centered mainly around L1. So turn radar off is this. Change radar IRST mode is... So if you see uh, the square plus X, that usually means I'm hitting both of them at the same time. Uh, 
let's just go through these radar settings real quick because there's a lot of them. Toggle Cannon Ballistic Computer is basically just uh, the trigger, but the button with it, and then I tap the trigger. Toggle Ballistics Computer is... Uh, this is a weird one. I'm not sure why I have this on here, because usually it's auto-turned on, but if I do need to turn it on, I just use this. Activate Target Point, Sight Stabilization. Those are all, like, laser pod things. Same thing, down D-pad. Try to keep some of this stuff organized for you guys. Gunners, the you can just look at that real quick. That's not really anything special. Camera control. I'll just go through this real quick. Look back. So actually, tracking slash aiming access is going to come default on a controller with L2. Um, I unbound that and put this to look back. So L2, if I hit that, I can quickly look back and see who's behind me. I recommend that a lot more than tracking because tracking is not a very helpful keybind. You barely are ever going to use it. Okay, so this one is mainly for simulator. This one right here, the zoom access air. So the zoom is basically when you're in your cockpit, um, you can zoom in and out. So like this will increase your FOV. So like you can kind of look around. You can like use it to zoom in and see your instruments and stuff, and then you can back out. Mainly, I don't use the zoom in. I will just hit the square for zoom. Um, I mainly just use it to increase my FOV so I can see what the heck is happening in sim. This one's default. You shouldn't have to bind that, but if you do, here's that. Uh, here's that. Aerobatic smoke. It's not really necessary, but reload guns is default to this, and... You can't really do that in realistic anyways, so open cockpit, there's that. Uh, manual and so toggle engine is down R3 and then toggle extinguisher is X. Now let's go into the, some of the more advanced stuff I have set. So um, this is some of the sim stuff and some of the stuff I use while in Air RB, just sim controls. So toggle control mode, um, this is for Cobras and stuff. You want to switch over. Um, the brakes I have set to the same thing. This is just if I want to like launch or, like launch off like a carrier, or like try to launch myself off a runway. I just have these to a brake, so I don't have to go all the way back on the stick to brake. So I can still use my engine while braking. Uh, trim aircraft is L1 R3. Reset trimming uh, is this. Elevator trim access. This is if you want to do the infinite 13 G turn which I go into a little bit more in my other video, if you want to go check that out. Engine controls mode. This is if you want to do split throttling, which is one of my favorite things to do. Um, so this is the updated as of whenever this video came out. <laughs> this is updated as of this video coming out. So um, this is a newer and more efficient way from my last video. So what you're going to do is have, this is the same, I think. So engine controls mode, but first engine controls and second engine controls, I have to left and right, um, I have to left and right D-pad instead of the old way where you had to hit both of the keys at the same time and you were pretty much using the entire D-pad for that. That was confusing and it wasn't as more as efficient. If I do that now, you can see that if I hit this you can see I have the both throttles up there and then I can freeze with that one in place and as you can see it freezes that one in place and that one doesn't go uh, that's all I can really think of right now I can go over some of my settings real quick I'm just gonna scroll through them and then you can slow it down or whatever if you want that's that that's that this is all this And yeah, so that's uh, all my controls, and I hope you enjoyed. I hope you can be a pro with the controller.